Hey friendly foes, today we're on location in my friend Ariel's pantry. This is a brand new space, she just walled off from another back room, so all the shelving is brand new, and she hasn't organized yet, so she's letting me at it. Uh, so John and I are going to try something new today and film the whole process, and I hope you have fun. The plan of tack today is to first empty everything out, of course, then we're going to try and put in some uh, base molding and crown molding because this area hasn't been finished yet. Then we'll be covering the white wire shelving with the um, plastic covers, which we've done before. I love that look. Then the fun part, then we get to organize. And I'm going to be using all Dollar Tree bins and organizational tools. I'll walk you through that when we get there. And Franklin is here to help us. Aren't you, baby? <gasps> Who's so happy? You can see we've emptied Ariel's entire pantry onto the kitchen table and there's some underneath. The first thing you have to do is just put like with like. I know a lot of this can be very overwhelming, so just take it one bit at a time. And I've actually started to organize here on the table. So I've got things like here's all the nuts and here's all the fruit snacks and here's all the sweets and cookies and chips and so on. That is the major um, part of the work of organizing, so just put like with like and then we get on to discussing what kind of containers to store it all. I want to show you a couple of my favorite Dollar Tree options for organizing pantries. Uh, starting with my all-time favorite bin, this is the one I use in my own pantry and that I buy in bulk for all of my friends' uh, pantries. It's just called a dish pan, if you look for it, it's with all the other containers. It looks like this, it's nice and big, it's got a good depth to it, and I like that it has this little handle so it slides really easily. If you have extra deep shelves, which I find really often in old homes, uh, these are fantastic. I've done them either way, sliding all the way to the back of the shelf and then layering too deep. It's a great way to make use of the space. Uh, another favorite for a lot of people uh, is these locker bins. These are great. Uh, the only thing I don't like about them is that they do flange open uh, a little wider at the top, so it's not the best use of, your, um, of the space, of the floor space. But if you do use these, this is a neat trick that I just learned recently through my Facebook groups, because I joined like all of them, all the Dollar Tree Facebook groups. Uh, if you buy this little crystal looking tray, it's just plastic of course, it's still from Dollar Tree, it fits perfectly inside the locker bin and then you can stack them, which is super cool. Uh, and you can stack that as high as you want, as high as your space allows. Uh, so that makes it a little more useful, giving it a lid for, again, each of these are only $1.25 a piece. Uh, I have two more options for you to show you real quick. Sorry, I don't have much room here, so they're all on the floor. Uh, these are great too. Again, you're going for the largest size you can find at Dollar Tree. And these little laundry buckets, they're very flexible, so they're not super strong. But if you have like chips or anything kind of lightweight, um, mostly like snack bags, love these for that. Also cleaning products are good because you can put these on the floor. So those are fun for, um, again, big amount of storage for a small price. And then, uh, last one. These are relatively new, I think, at Dollar Tree. I hadn't seen them before. You actually find these in the food storage uh, aisle, so where they've got like the Tupperware and stuff. But look at the size of these things, guys. These are great. They're um, a little larger than a shoebox, and they come with lids. So for $1.25, you've already got stackable storage. This is fantastic for a pantry. All your snack bars, all your cookies, anything you can imagine uh, going in there is just wonderful. So that's four of my favorite options. Okay, we are back. It's actually the next day because this project went a little bit longer than I expected and we were all exhausted by the end of the night. But we're back, it's done, and I wanna show you around. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice here is that we have a mix of bins. Mostly what we used are my favorite dishpan bins from Dollar Tree, but Ariel also had these hard woven baskets here. 
and these I think are from Target and I am a big fan of using what you have guys they don't all have to match it's nice that these are all white so it kind of all reads the same but use what you've got you don't have to buy all new materials uh, the next thing you'll notice is that I labeled literally everything because I'm in love with my label maker uh, but you take a look at the way that I've labeled these and John's gonna show you some b-roll here to show you a little bit of the variety of places I where I placed the labels uh, you want to consider your eye line where you're standing so for low things put the labels on top of the shelves maybe or on tops of the bins for high bins you're gonna to want to make the labels a little lower just think of again the angle of where you're looking uh, another fun little tip here you'll notice on this one wall uh, I've actually labeled the wall because back here and again John will put some video in there is a fruit snacks bin and it's just nice and short so it's hidden behind the thing in front of it so in order that Ariel won't forget it's there I have labeled the actual wall so she remembers that's there so again label everything it just really helps you remember where things go in the future even if you're living by yourself it just helps keep the system in place uh, let's see what else can I show you we've got our handy little turntable here and I'm gonna show you after the video how I made this for about five bucks using all Dollar Tree materials. It's one of my favorite pantry organization hacks. And you can see it's a huge turntable, which is my favorite thing. It's the size of a pizza pan, so it gives you a good amount of space. Uh, other than that, she's got some back stock uh, on the floor here with various uh, extra bags and dog food, things like that. She's even got a little bit of room to grow up here. We actually added things in to fill in the shelves because we wanted it to look nice and full for you guys. Um, we added in a full another pantry worth of food into this area because she was using her kitchen cabinets to store a lot of food goods. And we managed to fit all that in here, getting rid of very few things. One thing I really like in pantries is large designated zones that you can then break down. So for example, two of my favorite zones are salty and sweet. Everyone usually has salty and sweet things. Um, so for here, this is her sweet shelf and then you can break it down further from there. So I've got a cookies bin, a candy bin. She really likes gourmet marshmallows, so that's got their own bin. And then you'll have a salt shelf, which is down here. We've got potato chips, popcorn, nuts, that kind of thing. That way, again, broad categories that you just funnel down into smaller and smaller things. Uh, Ariel is a really big baker, so she also has an entire baking shelf that's way up top here. Uh, and this is breaking down. Again, most people don't have this many uh, things, but she does some incredible uh, baking projects so lots of baking and flour and mixes all up here so just think about what you use in your pantry what your own categories are going to be uh, and again start broad and then you can get a little narrow as you go here's another fun tip because we all have these cling wrap and parchment paper long boxes get yourself a little magazine file this one is a cardboard fold-up one but you can get some sturdy ones even from Dollar Tree again a buck 25 they're fantastic and these give you, um, take advantage of your shelf space because you can slot this in right here. Uh, and again, huge, uh, takes advantage of the shelf space there and keeps them all in a very small footprint. So I really like the magazine file holders for those. So I'm really impressed with the amount of storage we gained just by organization. And I hope this helps you guys out. So stay tuned for a couple more beauty shots and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey there, we're home now and I want to show you that quick Dollar Tree craft to make a turntable. Uh, a really nice big one too. This is fantastic for pantry reorganizations. Uh, so okay, all you need for this is two cake pans. These, I think they're eight inch cake pans and one pizza pan. Again, these are all from Dollar Tree, so they're a buck 25 a piece now. And then the last thing you need, sorry, it's so crinkly, is a bag of these pearls. Now most of the crafters I've seen who make this turntable use glass marbles instead which you can absolutely use, but my Dollar Tree doesn't carry glass marbles, but they do carry these. The important thing about these beads is they don't have holes in them. So you have to make sure you get the faux pearl beads, no holes. The reason why, I'll show you, these are gonna act like ball bearings for our turntable. So all you gotta do, you can see I've already glued this cake pan onto the, uh, into the center of the pizza pan. So I'll pour these in, just like that. 
two cake pans on top of each other, and voila! Get a really loud turntable. It's not that loud when there's stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to take my word for it. But really, when there's a lot of weight on it, it's nice and quiet. Uh, but this is fantastic. Again, for the size, this is the best way uh, and the cheapest way to make a really functional turntable. And I use this in all my pantry videos. So I hope that helps you out.